Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, got some news coming out of the Nightwish camp. I got, I woke up to a bunch of uh, messages, emails, and so on. And uh, one of the messages was from one of our Patreon supporters, Basil King. And he said, Hey man, did you see uh, that Marco has turned in his resignation letter for uh, from the band Nightwish? Uh, Man, this sucks. Um, I've got the letter here, and I'll try to remember to post a link to it if you if you haven't heard the news. It's a little later in the day, and I do apologize. I was wanting to get this news out first thing this morning, but had a little bit of a Google worldwide issue and issues and busy at work too. So I'm on lunch break. So I do apologize for the volume or the uh, the uh, video and the audio here. I don't have my stuff with me. Uh, but I do want to get this out there for anybody who does not know the news. The resina resignation letter uh, basically starts off with Marco talking about, you know, basically the greed of the industry and and um, the issue between uh, artists not really making anything, which that's absolutely that's absolutely nothing new as far as that goes. They've been screwing artists over for years. The industry's a sinkhole but the very first line he says dear people i'm leaving nightwish and my public life so it sounds like he's really needing his time uh, he does go on to say that um the past year had forced him to stay at home and think and um he needed to find new reasons and inspirations basically his walden <laughs> uh so to speak and um that you know that he, he had some very dark thoughts uh, here and there, but uh, but not to worry that he was fine. I have no, you know, my two sons, a wife, the rest of my family, friends, and a dog. Lots of love. So <clears throat> he also does say, "I don't think that I'll be gone for good," and we hope that's not the case. I mean, you know, Marco's a a very lovable, you know, person. You know, he's a very iconic person. He's a great musician. Uh, fantastic voice. I mean, he's one of mine and Wyatt's favorite bassists out there. And it sucks to think that, you know, if we ever get a chance to see Nightwish live, that Marco won't be there. Now, he does go on and say that, um, you know, there are a couple things that he's agreed upon that he will be doing in 2021. And um, so outside of that, he's pretty much asked everybody to just basically <laughs> leave him alone. And, uh, and does say that he's sorry about this. Uh, he goes on to say, you know, uh, conspiracy is a word, is the word of the day for the people who like them. I need to say that my 55th birthday is now on 14th of January. And I've certainly done my time for now. Blaming, for instance, Tomas is an insult to both him and my free thinking. This is a very sad thing for all of us. Uh, have a care, please. So, you know, Man, this is this is heartbreaking. I mean, you know, I know it devastates a lot of fans out there uh, in the Nightwish Army camp, and I know this is devastating for the man himself. Uh, you know, I don't know where this, what this actually means in in the whole totality of it. You know, could this be uh, a breaking point to where at some point we see Nightwish no longer move forward as itself? I don't know. Um, you know, not wish does come back and, and, you know, they put a small statement out a, a quick statement and they basically say, you know, uh, they will be doing, uh, the tour with a session based player if that takes place, you know, and, um, that they respect Marco's decision and wish him all the very best and that they will not comment any further. So with that, this is, uh, kind of something we were wanting to do was kind of like a music minute, uh, where we. You know, if we had any news or anything like that, this one caught us off guard. Um, Wyatt's not happy. I shot him a, a message letting him know, and he's pretty sad about that, too. So, hey, leave your comments below. What do you think about this? You know, are you uh, are you devastated by it? Are you sad? I mean, I know that I, I think it sucks, but I'm going to end it here. Uh, you know, it is what it is. It's part of the music industry. It sucks, and it's never any good when we lose a, a favorite member or if they step away. 
So I don't know. Anyway, with that, stay awesome and rock on.